Number nine, the names, dates, circumstances, the post incident outcomes um, reports of, of those slain by the Manchester PD. Um, the thing with that is going to be, I have to check with another agency. Um, as I indicated to you, the last time that I can remember um, a deadly force needing to be used on a, on a suspect um, was before I actually, I don't even remember because I was told about it. I didn't work here. It was prior to 94. Like I said, this case is pretty old, uh, and I, I don't know that it, you have an interest in it or not. Yeah, I guess the, the reason I asked for it was, and this, you know, it may, be, may not be correct, but um, on June 4th when folks were outside and some folks were chalking, um, the first interaction we did have with uh, Manchester PD personnel was when John Patty came out and um, told an individual that uh, he, he could be arrested for disorderly if he continued to chalk, and at the time he was chalking on the south side of the police department behind the memorial on the wall, how many is men Chester PD slain, and that, I, I feel, was one of the reasons why the John Patty initiated the arrest eventually. So, you know, it seemed like for whatever reason that, uh, you know, he took issue with that, and um, so... I think you can understand. I, I don't know, I can't speak for John Patty, right. but I can tell you that, um, I'll probably speak for myself, mm -hmm. um, I, don't, I don't know I'll get to your case, but, um, you know, uh, a fallen officer's memorial, um, you know, um, I guess I don't want to. Uh, <laughs> I, know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. You know? But at the same time, it, I mean, if there's no victim, there's no crime. There's a free speech thing. Whether it's, it's, um, you know, obviously some people would look at that as not being in the, the, the best taste. But you know, my question would be: Is that still legal, or is that should someone be put in a cage or fined for it? I think free speech, and, and I don't think you're going to find uh, too many people on this job in this department that aren't going to. Um, agree with you guys on, on certain things, and, and um, it's very people's rights. Um, you know, a lot of us, a big part of why we did we do what we do is because trying to do the right thing. Um, free speech is one thing. Um, you know, defacing a building so that even you have a temporary depreciation of the value. So we have to have people come and clean it. It's a government building; can't leave that stuff there. I, I, I don't. I, I feel strongly about the case. Um, the memorial. It's just, a, it's just a more, um, I guess you said it best, some people might find it, it's not in good taste, and uh, I don't know, I, I, I guess I'll leave it at that point. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess all I need is uh, names, dates, and if there's any uh, synopsis or anything, or even Would just you be names. interested in the affidavit in the case, maybe? That's like a, a summary? Sure. Right. So number 10, reports and all information related to injuries suffered by Manchester PD while arresting um, suspects. Um, that inquiry was mainly um, because I'm charged with two disorderlies and I know there's other folks charged with resisting and I want to, um, you know, I don't know if you may, may or may not know, but we had a trial in Greenfield, I had a trial in Greenfield in July and one of the charges I had faced was resisting and so my question at the time was, did you ever feel you know, in uh, fear of great bodily harm or death, and ha ha ha, they, you know, the officers on the stand laughed about it, because no way, you know, because I was, I was pretty peaceful and chill. And but I see what you're getting at. You're more looking at demonstrating this, this number of times where officers have been injured, I think, uh, from resisting, that's not what my, that's not what some of your court did I get what you're saying? Right. Okay, number 11, reports and all related information related to, oh, I'm sorry, yes, related to when Manchester PD has fired their weapons. Obviously, you're talking about outside of uh, going to the firing range. Exactly. And stuff. Um, I actually got to correct myself and apologize. I told you that the last time was 2006 and someone corrected me. 2008 or 9, there was a situation where someone brandished a gun mm -hmm. and uh, refused to drop it and officer fired around. Um, didn't hit anybody and the guy surrendered. This is the thing with that one. Um, I can potentially get you information. Um, and on the uh, second one, we do have reports here about our, we, just, we assisted another agency in, in, in doing this, this, looking for this guy. Um, and we have some reports on our part, which I think will satisfy what you're looking for. Okay, Manchester PD policies related to the seizure of property from those arrested and detained. Um, that I can get for you. Um, our policies do touch on the issues uh, relating to seizure of property and then the inventory and everything else, and I'll get you, I'll get you what we have on that. 
um, the argument is that if there's a chance that something could be altered. We, we joked earlier about technology and how you can alter things, but that's that's the, that's the premise. Mm -hmm. You know that you, you have to get it. You can't wait for the search warrant to seize it because you have to get it because it could be altered. The statute is very specific. Um, mm -hmm. It says that once you see something, you can't release it without a court order. Initially, it was communicated to me that we had to we all had to call uh, Greg Muller and tell him, yeah, it's fine. And then he told me it had to be in writing. So a lot of us said, you know. Said, hey, go ahead and release it in writing, and they wouldn't have re released property. But I come 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 to find out later that not everyone had, had given the approval in writing, so you know they didn't follow. I know that's not. No, I can tell you exactly what it is. Though. If you want an answer, I can tell you exactly what that is. Cause I know I know exactly what that is. Okay. Um, with all the addresses, we kept getting mail. They kept getting mail back, so we couldn't get a position for anybody. So we ended up basically reaching out to our council and saying, look at. We've tried our best to get these people's position, and we asked now the court to basically say we've been giving everybody fair time to respond. It's not our fault to give them bad addresses. It's not our fault that we can't contact them. Uh, it's not our fault they're not getting back to us. We've done our part. Judge, can you please allow us to release the cameras, and if they object down the road, dismiss the objections because we tried. That's what happened. So it wasn't a case of we circumvented any legal issues. It was that we did our part, and the judge basically said, Yes. Okay. And the other issue in the uh, parentheses here, the receipt issuance, that was pertaining to, you know, I, I, I um, the day I was arrested, a video camera was taken from my person right outside of here, and a uh, point click camera was taken from my colleague, so, um, and also my phone, my previous phone was taken from me during booking, and, I mean, not, no one who had property taken that day was issued a receipt, um, so I came to find out that, you know, your colleagues claim that they never had taken my phone, so either it was lost or stolen, and I don't know what recourse I have. So that's my one of my um, motivations to get the policy on if receipts should be issued when property is seized. Yeah, as far as the receipt issue, uh, we don't have a anything in place for receipts. Mm -hmm. So what you were told is that we just don't. We don't. Mm -hmm. You know whether or not we should. There's a whole other issue. Policies relating to um, video, and I touched on this earlier. A video of um, Manchester PD employees. We don't have a policy. Um, what our, our, I guess I can. What I can do is give you an um, an email that represents what our kind of our, our directive is. What we kind of have out there is, you know, if you feel that you were secretly recorded without your permission, and you feel it's important enough, gather the information. We'll get it to the county attorneys, and we'll decide if they want to indict. I can't think of the last time, if we, I don't think we've ever done it, I don't think anyone has ever been arrested by the Manchester Police Department for video and audio recording someone. In 14, uh, Manchester policies related to the complaint process, I can give you all that, time frames, forms, appendixes, all that stuff, because a lot of the forms that go along with it, the appendixes, so I can get you that, that's not an issue. Okay. 15, Manchester PD policies relating to the levying of additional charges. I'm going to look through the legal SOP to make sure, but I, I, I don't know that we have one on there. Um, it's um, it's an, an acceptable practice, um, and, and basically the, the laws, the, the rules of the court, and, and just basically the statutes allow, um, you know, and dictate how, how charges are filed. 16, the Manchester PD budget, I can get you that, and the allocation of funds, I can get you, I should be able to get you all that. All grants, um, I should be able to get that for you. So this is um, the MPD last five years and their outcome. I should be able to get that for you. Okay. The MPD policies relative to the handling of actions on private property versus public property. Um, um, and you talk about whether a complaint is needed to, 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 to go to private property. I'm going to research that. I don't know we have a policy that speaks to that. Um, I'm going to look. I, I, I don't know that we have one, though. Okay. And I know what you said motivated the request, and we talked about that a little bit. That one. So 19th public record. Um, it's the oath that the officers take, and um, there's also a policy that says that each officer has to be sworn in to take the oath. So those are two documents, and I got that. Um, I can get that for you. That's piece of cake. That's easy. I, I'm going to try to satisfy uh, this request that best of my ability and get you some of the stuff that you're looking for. Okay. And uh, again, I just appreciate your professionalism and attack. And, 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 uh, I don't think it does anybody any good to be hostile or anything like that. No, I would agree with you there.